Hello, welcome to my channel Green Wombat. Uh, this is uh, my first time making a video with English. Uh, I know that uh, that my English is not really good, uh, so please uh, bear with me. I know I know this is uh, <laughs> some kind of uh, not really a mockery, but but just a, a downgrade for myself. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, why uh, the reason I, I I make this video in English because. I saw my YouTube statistics and and, and uh, I saw some people uh, watch from India and America Serikat, uh, sorry, uh, United States of America, and then uh, some of them also from uh, Malaysia and British. I I, I don't know who, uh, <laughs> I don't know who you are, but but thank you for for watching my video. Uh, I know that my video is not really informative, so so I really appreciate that that you are you are uh, watching and 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 spending your time uh, with me in my video. Okay, now let's let's get down to the business. Uh, I'm going to explain uh, about about the, the the relation between the the uh, engine capacity or or cylinder capacity and and uh, fuel uh, and and the, uh, the the mileage uh, like like the, the range of your your your, your engine. <laughs> okay, uh, first of all, uh, I want to make some some recap f from my previous video. So. So in in in, uh, in the previous video, I, I was explaining that horsepower equal the 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 the, the uh, you know the, the force of the, the 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 engine, and then if if the force is uh, if the force is bigger than the, the weight that it's uh, that that it had to <laughs> it had to carry, and then 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 the the motorcycle could could, could go uh, along the, the factor of the the engine. Along with uh, along with the uh, along with the, the engine, okay. <laughs> ah, my English is wet, but I, I will try my best, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, so so the 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 engine capacity usually uh, people think uh, usually people think that the, the more engine capacity in uh, in your motorcycle or in your engine it, it should result in the in lower mileage uh, in lower mileage uh, because it sucks more fuel. Then the average, uh, the average lower engine capacity, but uh, that's not really the case in here, especially in in my country in Indonesia, where where we 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 really ride not not that fast. I think around well, I don't really know in miles, but but you, I usually ride in 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 well in my city around seventy until well maybe eighty eighty kilometers an hour. Maybe if if we convert that in 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 miles, I only ride around uh, fifty miles an hour. So that that isn't really fast for for American standard or or maybe in in Europe. I I, I don't really know. <laughs> okay, uh, it was caused by 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 the engine. The, the 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 motorcycle was was running in the lower RPM than the lower lower uh, cylinder capacity engine. Like. Uh, I was I was using CB uh, Honda CBL uh, 150 uh, the, the the K15 if I'm not mistaken uh, I believe it was it was the K15 I don't really remember but uh, the engines the engines would be uh, right around that like like the Indian Indian CBL 150 is like the 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 the, the same specs. With the Indonesian, uh, with the CBR, I was uh, I was using to in in my previous video. The CBR was was uh, was cruising in the four thousand and three four thousand and three hundred and fifty RPM, and the and then the Kawasaki R six N was riding at the two thousand uh, if two thousand and five hundred RPM. So so the R six N was well really not really not really opening the throttle very much. Okay, uh, so, <laughs> so uh, to, uh, to cut things down, I, I, I'm going to explain why, why why that thing would happen. First of all, in in my country especially, uh, the 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 lower engine capacity. I know the, the, this isn't uh, this 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 isn't uh, might uh, this might no, sorry this might not be true in in some uh, some country like Europe. Because because uh, in Europe the, the lower capacity engine was using uh, 125 cc and 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 the technology used in that bike usually pretty the same with the higher uh, cylinder capacity engine but not in my country like in Indonesia where 150 cc uh, engine is not really that 
advance uh maybe not in honda but 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 in some other case like like i i don't really know like suzuki or etc okay uh i will explain this like uh the simplest way i could explain if if you have anything in your mind you can write down in in the comment section okay first of all the, the volumetric efficiency what is the volumetric efficiency so long to uh, to 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 make the uh, things sim uh, simpler uh, the volumetric efficiency is the, the the comparison between the the volume in your chamber in in your chamber in your engine chamber uh, and the, the the total volume of the uh, air fuel mixture in the in the in the chamber itself so uh, like maybe uh, the 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 cylinder capacity like uh, have uh, 25 cc I, I don't really know I, I don't really count here and then the the the, the air fuel uh, air fuel mixture in the in the chamber maybe only 23 cylinder capacity or etc etc uh well you you can uh, open open up your your manual book and and look it look it up uh yourself okay uh so the the volumetric efficiency usually only reach around 75 until 85 percent i know that uh, some bike might be some engine sorry some engine might have higher rate or maybe lower rate but but the efforts of the volumetric efficiency in in in, in the combustion engine usually only reach 75 until 85 uh, percent so what what does it mean i mean what is the correlation between the the volumetric efficiency and the the the, uh, the millage of, of of the engine itself uh, sorry the motorcycle itself well the volumetric efficiency uh, related to ta or or ee so uh the thermo 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 efficiency and the engine efficiency usually uh based on the volumetric efficiency itself why because because the thermo thermo efficiency itself is like the ratio between the, the energy that contains in, in in the fuel itself and then the the energy that converted into your crankshaft so so like like we all know that that uh, the 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 in the combustion or or well the chamber sorry in in the chamber uh, there is some 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 combustion going on uh, going on well uh, the term of the combustion itself used uh, because the 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 fuel is not really explode or burn in the chamber but like well it is combusted so so just like uh, the flame uh, or or the 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 combustion well it, well I, I don't really have to explain it i i believe that you 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 all understand what's the difference between the combustion and the, the explosion itself so it is uh, happen in uh, in, in uh, well it is happen in well i i don't really 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 know but but well <laughs> i was i was counting with the the the, the uh, timing with the crankshaft degree like like minus uh, uh sorry uh minus uh not really minus but yeah well sometimes some like it it reached the uh, minus degree uh from the the the, the before the, the the top top uh before the piston reaching the top uh, of the crank up so uh, until until uh until like 20 or 25 degree after the top uh, after after piston re reaching the top and then uh what is the 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 te or or, or va so so every every combustion engine with the terminal uh, efficiency uh, usually only reach around 25 until un, until 35 uh, percent i know some some bike uh, some engine might be running even higher than that or maybe well twice etc etc especially with the with the turbocharged engine and supercharged engine but in this situation the, the fuel itself contain the energy and then the energy well 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 back to the, the the basic physics well when energy cannot be created or be destroyed so energy will be always the same the the the, the energy only transform it form into the another form like like frieza maybe <laughs> like maybe uh, uh maybe the, the the explosion or and then uh, the explosion create the energy and then the energy transform into some some you know mechanical action in the in the, the in the engine itself and then some energy might be maybe you know uh, become the heat and uh, heat itself is is another form of the energy so well that that's uh, that's that is how it is 
and then the efficiency itself might only reach 30 until 35 uh, percent uh, from the uh, the total energy that contained in in the fuel mixture okay so if the uh, the te or the thermal efficiency only reach around maybe like 30 30 percent it is counted from the volumetric efficiency so how much the the particle or the, the fuel mixture in your chamber it it should be uh, maybe roughly around 80 percent of the the the, uh, the chamber itself you can you can count that so so manually manually you you can count it with the cylinder capacity and then compare it to the uh, compare uh, the sorry the, what is it uh, compression ratio uh, the, the word that i was looking for so you can compare it with the compression ratio and then you get the the chamber capacity and then after that you can count with the volumetric efficiency if you're pretty if your your bag is uh, is using the the good the good uh, the good engine with this the with the good scavenging effect maybe it will reach higher like 95 percent but uh, i doubt that and then after that uh, you can count with the the thermal efficiency and then you reach the the termin, uh, thermo thermo efficiency with your uh, from your engine or or the engine f engine efficiency depends on what country you are in or or what your house you were reading and then uh, after after the after after you you get the 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 you know the the engine engine efficiency or the thermo efficiency uh, the the combustion from the chamber is pushing down the the piston and then uh, down to the connecting rod uh, and there is some some energy loss there and then uh, the so the the, the linear linear uh, linear mechanical movement transform into the rotational uh, mechanical move, movement uh, it happened in your crankshaft and then the crankshaft uh, and then connected to some premium I, I don't really know what, what is called in English but in Indonesia we called it in primary and uh, primary and secondary uh, secondary uh, gear and then uh, the, the gear itself will connect it into the gearbox from the, the primary gearbox into the secondary gear, gearbox and then after that the secondary gearbox will be connected with the with your front final drive and then the front final drive will be connected with the chain and then and then it will connect it to the uh, you know the, the the big the big one the the, the big gear <laughs> <laughs> secondary final drive and then and then the uh, and the gear itself will rotate in the same direction with your wheels uh, so so that's how the the mechanical things work in your in in the motorcycle and then uh, as we all know that the the energy transform into another type or another form of energy so like uh, the crankshaft is rotating the gearbox and the gearbox is rotating another gearbox and then it's rotating uh, it's pulling pulling the the chain and then and then the chain is rotating the 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 the, uh, the other final uh, the other the other gear and then it will uh, rotate the, the wheels itself well in that process some energy is going to to lose again like you know the the it become heat because of the uh, the the grinding gears etc etc and then uh, maybe sound well well sound is the uh, is another form of energy as we all know uh, so uh, when well well some people like to call that in well what is it an inertia loss uh, some other people like call it well I don't really know well we 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 don't really <laughs> calculate it that that thing uh, but there is how things work and then uh, what 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 is the the, the, the connection uh, between the inertial loss and the uh, fuel efficiency well uh, in the in the previous video I was explaining that the force should have higher uh, energy to pull uh, to pull sorry <laughs> to pull the weight of the, of your motorcycle and yourself so if the uh, the result of of the, the the if the result from this equation is not uh, is the the uh, so if the sorry so if the uh, so if the result from this equation 
the F is lower, the bike won't move an inch, not even a single inch. So, to to to, so your bike should have a, uh, a higher force than the uh, the weight itself. The higher the force is, the better it is, or the faster. I think, yeah, it should be faster. Okay, uh, and then the weight itself will be gradually increased uh, with the speed of your bike because the the the, uh, the bike will will have a contact with the road etc etc that's why we have the you know the, the tire limit speed like us uh, well we call it speed rate I don't know where uh, what is it called in in other country like the H H symbol or W symbol in in your tire uh, uh, yeah just like that okay uh, well the 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 lower capacity engine like CBR 150 or, or CBR 25 uh, sorry CBR 250 uh, maybe in Thailand we, we know it as CBR 300 not really using some some good uh, good parts to you know lower the friction or or uh, less noise etc etc et that noise and that friction will cause the the bike lost the, uh, the the energy to move uh, to move the back uh, the bike itself when the higher the higher the higher cylinder capacity engine usually use uh, some better equipment or some better parts like the x ring chains pocket at uh, etc etc you know the, the uh, better bearing of course and uh, and even some of them using you know like uh, the gear that can, that could slide you know the the the, the, the gearbox have some well some angle some angle in in in, in the gear itself it will uh, decrease the friction and decrease the heat also also less noise it means uh, less energy to be to be uh, to be to be lost okay uh, so in some case this the, the higher cylinder capacity might be uh, using lower 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 fuel uh, at total well, well because the, the the higher capacity engine should uh, go with your bike uh, should should be able to to pull your bike in lower rpm than the the, the higher engine capacity itself uh, like maybe well i don't really know to, to how to explain it but i i have some 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 examples here like the 200 uh, sorry in in a liter bike like in a in a little bike, uh, little bike with four cylinder engine, uh, with four cylinder engine, they usually produce around uh, 200, uh, 200 brake horsepower. And and when we go to the dyno, and and dial the bike, we might get around one hundred and eighty uh, wheel horsepower uh, with with that bike. So the the ratio between the brake horsepower and the wheel horsepower around nine to ten. Uh, uh, so that uh, so the the brake, ho uh, brake horsepower converted around ninety percent of the the, the engine uh, the the total power that was produced in the, in the engine. So ninety percent of the energy was transferred into your uh, rear wheel. But in in lower lower capacity engine like like you know uh, Yamaha LC 150, uh, one sorry uh, one thirty five I I don't know maybe in 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 some country it is called Exciter or Sniper Yamaha Sniper like a moped bike with with uh, 135 engine uh, it should produce around 13 brake horsepower but but when we we go to the dyno it, it only produce around eight to nine maybe <laughs> I don't know well I've never dyno my bike in, in stock condition but but if I try to to do that I would be happy to get around eight or ten maybe brake horsepower uh, wheel horsepower so the percentage of uh, the power that was transfers in the in the rear in the uh, to the rear wheel is much much lower so uh, with with the lower rate of the horsepower we, well we all know that the horsepower will be transferred into the force itself uh, the, the bike will have to reach a higher rpm than the uh, than the you know the, the bigger cap uh, cylinder capacity engine so it will cost you a lot uh, not really a lot but more 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 cylinder capacity engine 
uh, well, I think not much that I could explain in this in this in this topic. But but well, that's the, the explanation, or maybe like a, a little bike, maybe for 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 you in in America that watching this video. I don't know why why you were watching my my video. Uh, for for a little bike, uh, while you were cruising with a little bike uh, with a little bike. Uh, in the highway like in 60 or 70 miles an hour uh, and then you're changing your bike into the uh, 600 cylinder capacity uh, in the same speed you will realize that the 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 a little the the a uh, little bike will cruise in the lower rpm it and it will cause uh, lower uh, lower fuel consumption than your 600 cc bike uh, even though it is uh, using the same uh, con uh, configuration for the engine, like uh, the same four cylinder, etc., etc., or even maybe like uh, the same factory, like Yamaha R6 and Yamaha R1, or, or GSX 1000 and GSX 600, etc., etc. Uh, it is also applied to the the Matic, to the moped. Well, uh, well, it will op <laughs> apply to to all type of the engine, or maybe if. Uh, if you compare to the 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 you know the the car engine you will realize that the car will use less fuel than the, the motorcycle why because the car itself will running in lower rpm to cruise in the same seat uh, in the same speed with uh, if you compare it with the motorcycle so i think that's it for for this video i know i know that i can't speak very well even uh, not really in english but I, I couldn't speak very uh, very well. I'm not really good at explaining this, uh, ex at explaining things. So if you have any any suggestion or, or whatsoever, you can you can uh, write down in the comment sections. Uh, I know there is some uh, there is a feature in YouTube like you can you know uh, creating some subtitles or whatsoever. But I don't really have time to to uh, you know. Uh, fill the, the the subtitles because i have to write it down and then uh matching the matching my my my, my time uh um sorry matching matching my 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 typing with the speaking of the video itself uh i tried before and and it goes horribly wrong so so i think making two videos in one day and upload two videos it's <laughs> it's better for me uh if you don't understand because I, I i know well i can explain things if you if you if you need any further explanation you can write the comment and i will try to explain it as bit as uh, as i could uh, i type better than than my speaking okay uh, uh that's it for now green bombat